How's it going folks? Jedi here from CocktailHammer.com and in this video I'm going to review this cocktail shaker set. Now I got this shaker from Amazon. I will leave the link in the description below if you want to check this shaker out for yourself. But essentially I'm going to run down uh, what this shaker has in it, what this set has in it, and what I think about it after using have after I've used it for a while. So here it goes. So this cocktail shaker set includes a cobbler shaker with a strainer of course, a muddler, mixing spoon, two pours, and of course, a jigger with the measurements of one ounce and half an ounce. Oh, I almost forgot the shaker set also comes with this handy dandy little cocktail recipe book, which uh, is kind of neat. Um, yeah, so it doesn't just come with the tools, it also comes with a few recipes to go along with it. All right, so what do I think about this whole set? Well, the pours are just pours. They work perfectly fine. I didn't have any problems with pouring anything out of them. They didn't leak or anything like that. So these get a A, I guess, if I was gonna rate them like that. Um, the spoon, I haven't used it much, so there's really not much to say about this here uh, spoon, but it works. Same goes for the jigger. It's pretty straightforward. Um, it's I, I would have preferred if it had some measurements uh, but you know, this is pretty much as cheap as you're gonna find. This is extremely inexpensive, so I wouldn't assume that the company would go out of their way to give us measurements or anything fancy like that. Um, but it checks out, it's half an ounce and ounce, so yeah, it's fine. The muddler, I haven't used it, the muddler for anything yet. I haven't used anything with blueberries or mojitos or anything like that, so um, I can't speak to it how well it works, but I mean, what could you really say about this? It's as straightforward as it gets. It's a muddler. But I do have a problem with the but I do have a problem with the shaker itself. Now, what is my problem with the shaker? It's not insulated, so your hands are gonna get freezing. I'm talking cold as can be. So that's something to keep in mind. If you're used to it, that's cool, and if you're gonna use a towel to shake, then that's fine too. Your hands are gonna get cold, but if you're just gonna hold it bare and shake up your ice, it's going to get very cold. So that's just something that you should know. Another thing is that while shaking it up, this tends to come loose and um, I was using this for a couple of whiskey sours and just the, the the mixture in there with the egg was just making it really start to expand, you know, these, these things to expand. So it wasn't holding a very tight seal. I could already feel it kind of slipping out and just a little, a little spray, a little spritz came at me. Um, another problem that I have with the shaker is that when it does get cold, not only is the top just impossible to open, but the, uh, the, the, the entire thing is impossible to take apart too. Even after 